Hi guys. So it's been a long time since I've made a video because I've actually been moving to a new house. So that's why the background looks different. And if you had any idea how long it took me to figure out on where I wanted, you know, the to put the camera and where I wanted to film. And I finally settled on the front window being in front of me here and then just me in my chair because um, I figured we'd get a lot of lighting this way. The only thing though is that it's like right on the street and so, and it's the first floor so like there's all these cars that are driving by and for most of the video the uh, people across the street had like gardeners and they were just watching me doing my makeup which at a certain point you just have to stop caring and be like well I want to make a video so it doesn't matter if I look kind of weird <laughs> to other people walking by. Um, and then just now, after I finished everything, for finished the makeup, um, I saw this person driving by, like looking at the house with the window down, and it was so creepy. Because um, in my last house, I would film everything on the second story, and you kind of had like trees outside and people weren't seeing. Anyway, oh well. Um, maybe the next video, I'll kind of have things figured out more but I really wanted to make a makeup tutorial for you guys because I just love filming them so much. Um, and as always, if there's anything that you want to see from me, please leave a comment down below and let me know. So if you want to see how to get this look, then please keep on watching. First, I'm gonna use some primer. I am using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I've already put on moisturizer on my face. Thinking about adding sunscreen to my daily skincare routine, just putting it on after the moisturizer, but before primer, and maybe not always using primer, just because it really would help with some sunspots and, and preventing sunspots and all that. And also I was getting um, a facial recently and she asked me, the person who was doing it, asked me what skincare I was using. And then she was like, what do you use for sunscreen? And I was like, uh, I don't use any. And she was like, all right, well, uh, that would help. So. I have to figure out which one I want to use um, because in the past I hadn't like, I mean obviously if I go to the beach or something or if I know I'm going to be ah, in direct sunlight for a while, I absolutely use sunscreen but on a day to day basis is what she was kind of recommending and so I, I need to find a sunscreen for that. Uh, anyway. For foundation today, I thought I would use the Maybelline Maybelline Dream Cushion Liquid Foundation on the go. I've never tried this before. I've tried a similar product to this. I think it's the L'Oreal Cushion Foundation. Um, this is in the shade 10 Porcelain and um, has like a little pad. Normally I would probably use like a beauty blender instead of this, but um, this looks kind of cool, so let's just see how this goes. I don't know how hard you're supposed to press it. As you can see, I haven't done my brows yet, so I don't have to worry about the, uh, the cushion getting in that area. It's kind of hard to... Um, control where you're putting this exactly because it's so big and kind of thin it's not like the beauty blender where you can kind of just use the point on certain areas it's kind of hard to um to blend with this device and it's supposed to be something that's like faster and on the go but um i don't know if this is like Feasible, to be honest. Okay, now I'm just trying to like fix 
all the foundation I put here. Because it doesn't blend well. Um, I mean, I guess we'll, uh, we'll see how this looks after everything else is added, but I would probably say just go for, you know, pressed powder if you want to touch up during the day or some concealer, but not this. Not to be mean, I hate being negative or pointing out products I don't like in my videos because I like to keep everything positive, but I just don't think that that type of cushion um, way of putting on makeup works for me. And I don't really know how you could bring a beauty blender on the go. Because I could say, well, you could try it next time using a beauty blender. So let's move on to concealer. I'm using the collection Lasting Perfection in the shade 1 Fair. And I'm just putting this at the forehead along the nose, under the eyes. I don't know if it's that the older you get, you realize you have more dark circles and you need to like focus more of your concealer there, or if just the older you get, you realize that that's an area that people put concealer, so then you start seeing the flaws there and think you need to add more. I don't know. I'm going to blend this all in with the Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush. I love this brush for concealer. It's so precise but yet soft and fluffy. And um, I really like that in my face brushes. I have sometimes used my big um, foundation blending brush to blend out my concealer because this it does take a bit longer. I think that foundation is kind of mixing with the concealer and kind of um, making it too thick because I'm noticing my concealer is harder to blend than it normally is. Well, I guess that's what happens when you test out makeup in a video <laughs> that you just don't know how it's going to turn out. Sometimes it turns out well and sometimes it doesn't. But that's okay. Another product I want to use today is the KKW Beauty Contour Sticks. I've actually used them earlier this week, so this is not the first time that I'm using them. I am going to use one of the contour shades. I might use that one last time. I think this time I'll use a darker one. One of the things I noticed about these was that um, you really have to use more than you normally would when you're doing powder contour and um, I think you also have to use more than you just think you should, you know? Um, so I'm just doing the normal contour areas. Your forehead, the sides of your face, under your cheekbones, under your jawbone, and then I'm just doing um, a little on the nose as well. Um, and then uh, under the lips as well. And what I found was at the end of the day, I didn't really like how my makeup looked. It looked like how do I explain this? Like I looked like I didn't have enough makeup or I looked kind of sick, like a little too pale. And I think maybe because I also just used bronzer for eyeshadow that day to kind of go with this whole look. I'm not really sure, but I'm trying it again and I'm this time using more of it and the darker shade to see if that helps. I'm using the KKW Beauty uh, brushes too. I'm using the Kabuki to blend this in. It sometimes kind of feels like this is an eraser because it kind of like wipes away all the product but I figure if you use more product then it kind of balances out. You can use as much product as you want and it's easy to blend. You know? <laughs> So now some people, they like to put even their cream 
highlight contour on their face before they blend anything in, but I just wanted to kind of get the contour done um, because I'm not going to be using the highlight part till the end. I just want to, you know, do that another time. And I know that everyone says don't put powder over contour, but I feel like highlight's a little different. Like I will put that cream highlight on at the end if I want to. <laughs> Um, so for powder, I'm using the Wet n Wild powder brush that doesn't have a label, but I love these brushes. They're cruelty free, they're vegan, they're just, I like them, um, and they're very affordable. For powder, I'm using Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Luminous Light. I've been trying to more like dab my face with powder instead of sweeping as I used to do because um, I feel like if you sweep it, it has a tendency to, to move the product around to move it along <laughs> uh, to move it around so I'm just kind of dabbing that way unless we forget our eyelids so now for the contour I still want to go over with a little bit of powder to really make it uh, I mean, it sets it, but it also kind of deepens it. And I'm using the Kevin Acon Contour Powder. I think it's called Sculpting Powder, actually. No, just all the same places. Um, and then... I'm using a smaller contour brush by e.l.f. for the nose contour. Just trying to make sure it's not just like a line. I don't know if I like outlining my lips with the the bronzer. I used to love just taking the, the center and doing that and so it's plump in the middle because if I line it it just it's like too dark for my lip skin to come if that makes sense. Everything's rolling away. Uh, okay so we have the powder and this is what the Kevin O'Conn sculpting powder looked like. It's in the shade medium. I'm using the Dior Rosy Glow in the shade Petal. I love this blush so much. I've been obsessed with it for like, I don't know, a year, two years, I'm not sure. Wet n Wild also has a blush brush and I'm using that. I like to do a little on my forehead and the eyes because I really like bringing that warm tone back into my skin. For eyeshadow, I'm using the Kylie Bronze Palette. And I did my brows off camera, in case you're wondering. I'm using a Morphe M224 brush and I'm just dipping in the lightest shade here. This is called, not Topaz, this is called Jasper. Just highlighting under the brow. And adding it to the inner corners. Now I'm taking the Orf the Morphe M 521 brush and dipping it into this contour shade here called Topaz. Also dipping a little into this orange shade in the center called Citrine, just on the lid. Using small pencil brush, the Morphe E36, and I'm dipping into this dark chocolate brown shade called Bronzite. Grabbing my concealer brush and just softening the under eye just a little bit. Now I'm going into the Morphe R38 brush and I'm taking that same dark chocolate color and I'm adding it just in the outer V. I'm 
For mascara, I'm using the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl. I love this mascara because it kind of gives my eyelashes that like spread apart look, almost like the Benefit Roller Lash. For a highlight, I'm gonna use, um, that's the contour stick. I'm gonna use the KKW highlight stick, but I'm gonna use the, um, see the shimmer side. Um, just on the tops of my, what the fuck is happening here? Tops of my cheekbones. And the cupid's bow. Sometimes you just don't feel like highlighting, and that's today. I still want a little something. And I'm using the sponge side of the KKW brush. I'm going over with the powder brush, whatever's left on it, just a little. to kind of blend everything. For lips today, I'm using the ColourPop Blotted Lip collaboration with Alexis Wren in the shade Exotic. I've never used this product before, or this shade. And to set all of this, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below with what you want to see next. Thank you so much for being patient with me as it took me so long to upload again with all the, all the stuff that's been happening. Um, I really, I just, I love making videos so much, so I hope that next time it won't be such a big gap between when I put my next one out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!